Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to understand the management of obesity. First thing we need to know is the goal. Okay, of our management, we need to reduce the weight by ten percent from the baseline weight which the person is having right now, or point five to one kg every week for six months. Now there are different level of uh, management. The first thing we need to do before pharmacotherapy is lifestyle modification. The person should include low calorie, low fat, and low density food within his diet, with a normal protein intake and increased dietary fiber intake. The total fasting is not recommended because it can lead to diuresis or natriuresis in an obese person. We should advise physical activity. uh that should be uh, limited means uh, uh it should be 5 to 6 days okay every week not more than that and behavioral modification will include uh, motivating the person uh, regarding his condition okay because it is very important to motivate such persons and uh, motivating uh, behavioral modification also include including the physical activity meditation yoga within the person's lifestyle following lifestyle modification we go for pharmacotherapy now we have centrally acting drugs and peripherally acting drugs the centrally acting drug one of them is sibutramine now sibutramine is the one which decreases the monoamine uptake that is it will increase the level of norepinephrine and serotonin now these norepinephrine and serotonin will uh, maintain the basal metabolic rate and thermogenesis and hence help in decreasing obesity but these are contraindicated in the case of coronary artery disease and hypertension also us fda has now not approved this drug another drug that is banned by us fda is rimona band now this is one which is cannabinoid uh, blocker cannabinoid receptor blocker in the periphery as well as central so its central blockade increases the depression and suicidal tendencies so it is blocked we have peripherally acting drugs which are better the one of, one of them is orlistat okay just remember the name not a lot of it to remember we have olestra now about olestra you need to remember that it is like a inert molecule containing sucrose and 6 to 8 fatty acid chains surrounding it it looks like an octopus remember it like that and it is inert so it replaces the fat um, around 35% replacement of fat in our food and uh, it does not undergo absorption and decreases the food intake and passes as such in our stools the other drugs which can be related to what we studied in the pathogenesis of obesity are metformin now metformin are very useful in the case of type 2 diabetes mellitus patient with obesity because they will help in maintaining the insulin and hence will decrease the, um, maintain the appetite suppressing signals we have glp1 analogs okay like liraglutide which act by the same mechanism because these are the gut hormones which are helping in maintaining the appetite suppressing signals so metformin glp1 analog we have topiramate now topiramate is an anti epileptic drug but still it has a features which decreases the obesity and it is used many in many places we have beta histine now beta histine is an h1 blocker it has two uses not only it maintains and suppresses the appetite but it uh, selectively suppresses the fatty fatty meal intake okay so this is what we needed to know about pharmacotherapy the third thing we can go for is bariatric surgery now there is a separate video for this but this is a, just a brief about bariatric surgery so we can have mal absorptive procedures where uh we decrease the length of small intestine so that nutrient absorption is less or we have restricted post procedure where we decrease the volume capacity of the stomach or the absorbing surface so that less of the nutrients are the satiety is reached early okay or we can combine both of these the fourth thing we can do is liposuction now the detrimental effect or of with the liposuction is that though liposuction will reduce the fatty molecules or the fat cells within our body but it does not treat the underlying cause so the fat will increase again rapidly plus it does not decrease the cardiovascular morbidity and the other diseases associated with obesity okay the other things are hydrogel now hydrogel is another inert molecule which is given before the meal twice a day 
what it uh, what it does is when we give hydrogel it swells up in our stomach and makes the person satiate earlier okay so there will be decreased food intake and it passes as such in our stool dietary supplements like the green tea the ephedra and the other herbal medicines are found to be less effective and can cause more side effect if taken without prescription or proper information so this is what we needed to know about management of obesity hope some of your mm, uh, queries were cleared uh, this is not all about management of obesity uh, but this is a short summary regarding it so if you understood thanks for watching